Um, now, the AFL, yes. meantime, has set uh, its sights on homegrown megastar Kylie Minogue to headline this year's grand final entertainment. Now we're talking. There we go. Sunrise reporter Nathan Curry is at the MCG. Hi, Nathan. Uh, Kylie would put on a great show. Uh, morning, guys. She certainly would. We couldn't get her uh, up on stage last year to perform Kids with Robbie Williams. Uh, maybe we'll have better luck at this time. Look, we understand that she's number one on the AFL's hit list. Apparently, her first response was uh, thanks, but no thanks. But now there's hopes uh, that maybe uh, her mind will change. Her new album actually comes out right before the grand final too, so it could be perfect timing. So watch this space. Uh, in the meantime, a few other people who have already dominated uh, on grand final day were elevated into the AFL Hall of Fame overnight, including a very own Bruce McAvaney. To be in their lounge rooms, to be in their favourite room, they might have turned me down every now and then, but that's OK. And to be part of their enjoyment of the great game. You can't ask for much more than that. Uh, Sam Mitchell, Jimmy Bartel, Corey Enright, a few other modern day greats to win a few premierships here at the MCG were also elevated. But I think Kylie Minogue is the name we're all thinking of this morning, guys. So fingers crossed uh, we see you here at the G in September. Oh, so on. much to love about that story. Yeah. Minogue, McAvaney. McAvaney, it's all there. That's good. Congratulations, good on Bruce. You, so well deserved. Yeah, and good on you, Nathan. Race home and check your yogurt. <laughs>